Okay, so for number one, it says let theta be an acute angle such that sine of theta equals 0. 0.6. So if sine, sine of theta equals 0. 0.6, it's really the same thing as saying 0. 0.6 over 1, which is the same thing as y over r. And I did y over r because we're talking about sine, which means the 0. 0.6 is the y and the 1 is the r. And I'm in an acute angle, which means I have to be in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 4. Um, since y is positive, I know that I'm in quadrant 1. So I drew my triangle, and then my radius is 1, and my y distance was 0.6. And then I did a Pythagorean theorem and got that my x value was 0.8. And I know that I, when I square rooted it, I took the positive version because this x in the first quadrant is positive. So now that you know x, y, and r, you can find out tangent and cosine. Cosine is x over r, so x over or 0.8, which is x over 1 for r, which is 0.8. Tangent is y over x, so 0 0.8 over 0 0.6 over 0 0.8, which is 6 over 8, which equals 3 over 4. Number two, same idea. It tells you that you're going to be an acute angle and tangent of theta equals 3. So tangent of theta equals 3, which is the same thing as saying 3 over 1, and tangent is equal to y over x, so y is 3 and x is 1. It says that I'm an acute angle, so again, you have to be in quadrants 1 or 4, but since x and y are both, positives, we, pos, both positive, we know that we're in quadrant 1, so x is, or y is 3 and x is 1. I do Pythagorean theorem, and I get the radius is the square root of 10. When you find the radius, make sure you know that it's always positive. And then to find what it wanted me to find, which was cotangent. Cotangent is x over y, so that's 1 over 3. I really could have done part A without doing all of this, because if they tell me tangent... The reciprocal of 3 is 1 third, which is cotangent. But I needed to do all this math so that I could do part B, which was secant. Secant is r over x, so the square root of 10 over 1, which is just the square root of 10. Um, the last one, it tells you that theta is going to be an angle in quadrant 2, so I drew a triangle in quadrant 2, and it says that sine of theta is 1 over 3. 1 over 3 is like r, y over r, so my y is going to be 1 and my r is going to be 3, so 1 and 3. I do Pythagorean theorem, and I get that 8 is going to be x squared. But I have a negative x down here, and I have a negative x because I'm in the second quadrant. And when you're in the second quadrant, x is negative. So you need to make sure that right here, you are very careful make yourself a note that when you're square rooting to find x or y, you make sure you use the right sign, the right s-i-g-n, so that you have the appropriate label for the quadrant that you're in. So now that you've done all that, you can find cosine. So negative root 2, negative two root 2 over 3. And to find tangent, it's going to be 1 over negative 2 root 2. And I rationalize it by just using root 2 over root 2. So negative root 2 over 4. Go back to Edmodo and there'll be one last video for page 238.